Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's your girlfriend and we'll go back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for 21,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Keep subscribing, keep liking, keep commenting, keep sharing. And please continue to motivate me by giving me stuff to react to. I'll really, really appreciate. Today I'm going to be reacting to Amin Didat Christ in Islam part 12 or 15. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. I think we might go to a question over here. It's probably better. Salam uh, alaikum. My name is Hamza. Uh, my question, uh, Sheikh Ahmed. Sheikh Ahmed say uh, Jesus is is not dead. We know about it. But who was not to? Christ and uh, Christian people praise for who? For what or what? Could you, could you understand the question? Look, brother, we have a little bit of trouble understanding you. Stand back from the microphone a little bit and repeat your question, please. No, don't laugh. He's got a serious question. Can you just stand a little bit back and I want to ask a question, who was nailed to a cross? Okay. He'd like to know who was nailed to the cross. Because Ahmed say, Jesus is not dead. We know about it. Muslim people, he know Jesus is not dead, not a cross. But who come and nail it to cross and Christian people pray for who? For wood or what? <laughs> Did you understand that? <laughs> what did he say? That he was not nailed to the cross. The, the gentleman would like to know the Christian people say Jesus was nailed to the cross, Muslims say Jesus was not. Who was nailed to the cross? And if Jesus was not nailed to the cross, who do Christians pray to? See, the Muslim position is very clear. In Surah Maida, chapter 5, 157, Allah says, وَقَوْلِهِمْ إِنَّا قَتَلْنَا الْمَسِيحَ إِسَى بْنَ مَرْيَمَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ And they said in boast that they killed Christ Jesus, the son of Mary, the messenger of God. In answer to that, Allah says, وَمَا قَتَلُوهُ وَمَا صَلَبُوهُ That they didn't kill him, nor did they crucify him. وَلَكِنْ شُبِّهَا لَهُمْ But it was made to appear to them so. وَإِنَّ الَّذِينَ اخْتَلَفُوا فِيهِ لَفِي شَقٍ مِّنْهُمْ And those who dispute therein are full of doubts. مَا لَهُمْ بِهِ مِنْ عِلْمَ They have no certain knowledge. إِلَّا تِبَى الزَّنْ They only follow conjecture, guesswork, fiction. وَمَا كَتُلُهُ يَقِينًا For of a surety they killed him not. بَلْ رَفَهُ اللَّهُ إِلَيْهِ But Allah took him up to himself. Now that's what I believe. But now, but now when the Christian comes along and he said Christ died for his sins then I says now Allah says ask him for his Burhan and he produces Burhan the Bible then I deal with the Bible according to what he says and I prove to him that whatever you say even if it happened Christ didn't die and so there was no crucifixion and that I was proving to you on Friday were you here on Friday? Friday night? Good Friday were you here? Were you here? On Good Friday, no, no. Then you buy this tape, and it'll give you the whole story. This tape outside, you buy this. Next question from the lady. Um, I was just wanting to know um, where these new Ten Commandments have come from, because I actually attend an Anglican church. And I'm not aware that the commandments have changed. As far as I know, we follow the same commandment, same Ten Commandments as what the Muslims do. I was just wanting to know um, where this has come about and um, when it's supposed to be introduced 
because I, I haven't heard anything of it yet. Those Ten Commandments came from the Anglican Church and I have the newspaper cutting of this from my local newspaper in Durban and if you don't, if you like, you can come to my hotel and I will show it to you. I will be able to show it to you. That is coming from the Anglican Church. Is the church itself are mooting these ten commandments, new Ten Commandments. Not we, not the ordinary people, but the hierarchy of the church, they formulated these new Ten Commandments. I have that newspaper cutting, original newspaper, I would like to show it to you. Could you tell me um, what newspaper it was from? Was this from a newspaper in Australia? Or no, no, in England. In England. In Eng well, it starts from there, then it will come to Australia as well, I take it. <laughs> Next question. Good evening, Mr. Didad. Uh, before I ask a question, I'd uh, like to say a few words, if it's possible. Be careful. <laughs> no, 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 not that right. I heard anybody. Uh, if I heard... Uh, firstly, tonight it's a very big moment of my life. I heard some words which I wouldn't believe I would heard. Uh, if I, 10 years ago, or say 15 years ago, spoke with the majority of Muslims, I would have, if I asked them, do you believe Jesus, in Jesus Christ? The answer would be no, no majority. That means the knowledge was minimum. Shh. Tonight, I say it's a big part of my life because I heard something different. But now, we ask him the answer, how to believe. Same as we get married. We get married, but our strength in our marriage is our children. That means, if we get married, and if we have Christ in our life, we ask him, what have should got, we have? Have you got a question? Or is yes, this a, just or is finish, this a in a minute, finish in a minute. The answer is, without being baptized, we can believe we don't have Christ in our life. Thank you. Now, question is, in Quran, where Quran in Surah 19, chapter 33 and 34 says, Peace on me the day I was born, and the day I die, and the day I shall be raised alive. Such was Jesus, son of Mary. Can you give me the answer of that? Because they said he be raised alive. If he's raised, he'll come back again. That Quran says, not me. Okay, well, thank you for your sermon first. You're welcome. <laughs> you managed to slip that one past me. That question's already been answered, but I think we have to get the point home. So, Sheikh, can you explain again? We believe that God took up Jesus alive. He's still alive. And he's going to come back alive. And he's going to die like everybody else. And he will be resurrected like everybody else. So, pieces of me, the day that I was born, you know when he was born, the day that I die, after his second coming, he is going to die. Everybody must taste of death. Anybody, everybody. Everybody must taste of death, including Jesus. So he dies like everybody else. And everybody, when he's resurrected, he will also be resurrected from the dead. That's what it means. Can I, Can I ask another thing? No, one question only, I'm sorry. Wall is wondering about the crucifixion and all that. How about I would like to know if Jesus, whether he rose, whether he did what, because he ascended to heaven or, or wherever the place is, he still ascended. Was it just his spirit that ascended or did his entire human body as well ascend with him? 
I'd love an answer to that and these guys actually really had some good questions and then about the Ten Commandments why would someone want to temper with the Ten Commandments this is why I say people have no respect nowadays the entire time we've been in this world we've been following this but to suit yourselves you want to adjust one or two things and then what why why now that always amuses me that always amuses me learn to leave certain things alone just leave things as they are stop confusing people stop confusing me stop confusing yourself stop confusing the world otherwise let me know what you guys think about this uh, if there's something you want me to react to let me know down below by dropping the name or the link and i'll be more than glad to react to whatever you suggest make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video